so good We're loving and hating and making scenes Now we just see everything we believe We just see everything Cozy room. Looking forward to coziness. The fourth ball had a room of coziness. Which kind of does sound like an insane asylum. Lovely. Well, I got a story for you guys because there's something new I want to be doing for the channel, which is like come up with random stupid stories. Watching Owen Rogers a lot lately, and I was like, yeah, one of these, I can try some shit he does. Let's see how that goes. Well. So when I was little, I was sitting around like five, seven. Only my grandma, grandma, was gonna go for a wanted grocery quest. Quest for groceries. Feed the giants in our bellies. Or whatever you wanna call them. I don't know, I ate a shit ton of food and fight save it and I still do. I just was little. I'm not sure why though. I don't know about you, but when I was little, going to the grocery store with my grandma was a really big deal. Because when I get to pick up all my snacks, all the snacks. Mostly fun for an ice cream, but let's not be specific here. So when we got to the store, it was like the newly built Walmart, and Walmart's still there today, and it's fairly new. And when I walked in, I saw that new Walmart snow. It's a very rare snow, almost as majestic as a freaking fly part, but half as rare, and doesn't happen as often. So we're going to the store. And one of the biggest things my grandma likes to make is pancakes and waffles. So we're getting served from the pancakes and waffles. We need coupons. Coupons. We have coupons for the waffles. Pancakes. Huge bottles. I'm talking huge bottles. Bottles that, that are made to feed the heavenly beings at the top of the vines that, sh that strike the heavens. Apparently there's like enough of these bottles that are big enough and you could, you could like take a bath in them. You could fill up a pool with them. Like if I wanted to, I could pretty much fill up her pond like multiple times with enough syrup and it would just be amazing. And start like developing Canada in her backyard. Which would be kind of cool because we can get better health care around that area, but yeah, we'll see. And so pretty much our mission was we just had to get all the food that we needed for that next like month or so. Filling up like three grocery carts. And then we pulled up, and there was this old guy who was working at the register. Mmm, that's enough food to feed a festival. We could have your own festival and feed them all. You can go to a restaurant festival and feed them all. I noticed he had this little pendant, and it was kind of like a maple. So I was curious, and I was like, What's that in your chest? This little thing on my chest is a maple leaf, where I was born, in Canada. Why don't you say A? I mean, you said it once, but you don't say it very much for a Canadian. At this point, my grandma's pissed. I already, sent, already embarrassed her in front of this guy because I had insulted him, and yeah. I'm not going to go into the details of what happened next, but it was basically she whipped my ass. And while we were driving home, I had the bright idea. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should become Canadian myself and then apologize to him and kind of like, like a natural Canadian should. And I thought that the best way to do that would be to fill up the tub when my grandma was taking a nap. She always takes a nap after this trip. And so I fill up the bathtub with all the maple syrup. And then I go outside and get a bunch of leaves. I got butt ass naked. Like, naked. Birthday suit. Special suit. I started getting in the tub. I decided to start screaming, Hey, Canada! And my grandma busted the door. What are you doing in here? And I'm like, Grandma, Grandma, don't be mad. I'm gonna become Canadian, and I shall go apologize to that dude, and he will believe me because I will become, I am a natural born Canadian, eh? Yeah.